earlier this summer, um, Charter and Cox and Comcast got together and said, if there's anything that we can do collectively uh, to raise the level, the power uh, of television, um, we need to join hands and try to bring the industry along with us. Um, and so we launched this initiative called On Addressability, which is really about not just enabling our inventory with the special powers and data that our direct uh, consumer uh, relationships allow us to have, but also figuring out how we bring all of television along. Uh, we're strong believers that uh, television is only as good as kind of the lowest common denominator. And if we're able to raise the capability of the platform, it's good for everybody, but most importantly, it's good for marketers and advertisers. Um, so this morning, we're gonna kick off um, a short program on, on addressability to give everybody an update. Um, and we have, um, a, we're gonna start off with a wonderful panel uh, that has uh, first uh, David Klein, uh, who is the Executive Vice President of Charters Communication and the President of Spectrum Reach. He would invite him to the st uh, stage. David, it's great I'm coming to anyway. stay. That's <laughs> um, Along with David, we're going to have Kim Kelleher, who is the President of Advertising Sales and Partnerships from AMC Networks. Uh, she's had a very long and uh, distinguished career in media at Condé Nast, at Say Media, at Time Inc., a variety of other places, Kim. Welcome you to the stage as well. Uh, and Evan Avalon. Uh, Evan is the Senior Vice President of Advanced Advertising and Digital Partnerships at AMC Networks. Adam is uh, three months into the job, but he joined AMC from Condé Nast, and par part of that he was at Pubmatic. Evan, welcome to the stage. Can you talk a little bit about how you see addressability really bolstering what you do. I mean, we've done it fairly well on the, you know, the MVPD side. We've had addressability for a long time, but it's now being brought out and being opened up even further for our network partners. So tell, you know, let's talk a little bit about what that means to you and what you think that means, not just you, but your peers in the industry. Um, I think it, it changes the way that we go about buying media, right? It goes from, a pure demo-based targeting to be able to either use a client, client use their data to come in and target particular audiences that they want, want to work with and advertise to. And I think that allows them to create different outcomes, sometimes in guaranteed ways, to make sure that they're not wasting an impression or a spot on a demo that's not exactly the type of person that they're looking to reach. I would just, you know, it's kind of I think that I'm, I'm super glad to be entering the industry right now because it just makes sense. It's a, this is a sensible way for buying to evolve in the space. I think it's going to force us to be much more collaborative than we have in the past. I think digital does that by nature. Um, we're going to be working much closer with our partners, um, Comcast, Charter, all of our partners to, to figure out a way to get together introduce this new level of buying to the industry. Mm -hmm. It's not, um, and we talked about this a little bit before when we were just talking about what we were gonna say up there. We didn't rehearse any of this. <laughs> it's not, um, I feel like it's not going to overtake uh, the business that we're currently in, not immediately. It's gonna be part of the ecosystem that we all have to be much more comfortable. So not every advertiser needs addressability in your mind. It's, it's so. for the right client in the, at the right time. Absolutely, there are gonna be advertisers that still want big broad, just an absolute eyeball scaled by, and that performs for them. This is going to be more niche, this is going to be for people who, you know, have, have audience segments that are highly targeted, they know exactly who they want, they know exactly where they are, and we have to be able to, to serve that. Great, okay, so, you know, the other thing that comes to my mind, knowing that you know, addressability, you know, as, as we used to say, it's, it, you know, it's, it's been right around the corner for the last 15 years. Well, we've turned that corner because we do have scale now. Finally, after years, there's enough scale on demand. There's enough scale on linear. It's going to keep growing. You know, that, that's, 
good for all the players in the ecosystem, especially the advertisers. But why don't you, can you if you can talk a little bit about, you know, you're in a, you guys have a very unique position. And the thing I've always loved about AMC having, I was there for 20 something years, you know, uh, many years ago, was its ability to stand in the, in the you know, toe to toe with some of the giants out there and compete. And that, that's a hard thing to do. Um, talk, if you could talk to us a little bit about how you see this product maybe helping you stand toe-to-toe -to -toe or, or other products you have. But I, I think the uh, group would love to hear about how does someone like AMC stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a, you know, a, a, a big media, a, other, some of the other big conglomerates and, and, and what, do you, what products will you use to try and get there? I think that... AMC is perfectly positioned to move quickly. It's, it's a really smart, great dynamic group of people who are all pushing in the same direction. And there's a lot of disruption elsewhere. I plan on, I think we plan on taking full advantage of that disruption and, and trying to move as quickly as we can on the frontier. I approach this a little bit differently. I find um, the carefulness that often comes with new direction is something, I don't want to throw caution to the wind completely, but I think we have to, we have to try more. We have to fail more. We have to, we have to partner more aggressively. And we just need to, we need to make sure, it's the fundamentals. We need to make sure our great content is in front of everyone who wants to consume it. So keeping that viewer first. We have to make sure our advertising works to the best of its capability. It's got to be performance marketing for our partners. Like, I try to remind myself, and I think we as a team talk a lot about, OK, here are the fundamentals. How do we absolutely partner, build, and try as much as possible right now? And I feel like AMC is uniquely positioned to do that in the marketplace right now. Great. you have anything to add to that? I, I do. One thing I want to touch on that you said, you said the word product. Right? And I think in, if I look back to you know, the last 10 years in digital, similarly when programmatic started, right? programmatic buying started, I think we as an industry approached it like a product, but in actuality, it's just a means of a transaction. How do you want to buy your media? Do you want to buy it on an insertion order, or do you want to buy it electronically through a programmatic platform? And I think when we think about addressability on TV and connected devices, like how do you want to buy that media? Is it going to be data driven or is it going to be demo driven? Is it going to be content driven? And I'd like to see us as an industry learn what sort of how we swung the pendulum so much in digital towards programmatic and it's come back into the middle where context and placement still matters. Um, I think we have to come together as a group and really approach that in the same way. So addressability to you based on what you said, sounds like it's, it's not really a product. And by the way, I sort of agree with that. It's, a, it's just a better way to, yeah. to reach uh, the right target audience, exactly but you right. could do it through other methods as well. But it doesn't sound like it's a separate product for you guys. You're gonna use addressability um, you know, when you talk to your clients Absolutely. as a means to get their audience out uh, you know, more finitely. Yes. Okay, so, so good, because I think, that's a, I think that's a misnomer, too, that a lot of, you know, people think that um, addressability is a separate product. It's, it's not. It's, a, it's, it's television. It's on demand. It's all those things. It just has a better ability to, uh, to find its way to the right audience. I would take that even further, David. I would say it's just another way to cut the same proverbial pie. And I think that using the word product, I understand why it's classified that way, the same way we did with programmatic. The problem with that is products come and go. This one's not going anywhere. This is gonna be a mainstay as part of how we approach the marketplace, how we work with our partners and our marketers um, to best serve them, the audiences they desire. Yeah, uh, yeah listen, I take some of the responsibility uh, for, you know, it's taken a while for the MVPDs to scale up and uh, you know, and I, I have to give a lot of uh, credit too to our friends at Comcast and to Marcian to you know really herd the cats and bring us all together. You know, as a lot of you guys know, cable companies are generally they're in a subscription television, subscription uh, high speed data business. They're not in the ad business. That's not their primary business. But they they have seen the how addressability can really work well and 
given us all resources, and that's why we've all caught up. And, and I, I really believe, you know, we're on the uh, verge now of not just taking our two minutes an hour that we've always had and monetizing that to addressability, but, but taking it broader. And, uh, you know, tell me from your perspective, you know, I, I don't like the word game changer because I usually, if you're the one saying it, you ain't changing anything. But, uh, <laughs> but so you say it. Um, <laughs> so, so in all sincerity, though, it's, you know, be, being able to take your inventory and not have to show the same ad in the same place at the same time on a broad 90 million household, but, you know, t talk to us about how you think that's going to impact your future, as well as, by the way, it's not just AMC, it could be any networks, but, you know, uh, specifically you guys. Well, like I said before, it's, it's going to happen. We, I feel like we're all moving in that same direction, so it's about collaborating, it's about testing, it's about trying, it's about pushing. So we're going to keep pushing together. You guys have a lot of information we need to make that work. We have a lot to do on our side to ready ourselves to be able to do this at scale. Um, I, I just feel like for us, though, the one thing I will just say, and I feel like it's important, um, it's the frontier. We need everyone to come together. Right now, it's still expensive to do this. We need our partners to understand that. We need them to help us pay for it. We need to build this together. And right now, that means there's a premium up front while we actually get the technology and the systems in place to be able to super serve the, um, the marketers' needs and advertisers' needs for the future. But right now, we're in the investment stage collectively. And it would be great if we could, as an industry, understand that, embrace it, and actually keep keep room in our budgets to, to build towards this. And I feel like that was something that we missed in digital. Um, many of us, I'm sure, missed in digital. And, and therefore, it took longer than it should have. It, and it sputtered out mm -hmm. faster than it should have. I, I would really love to see the premium aspect of this be embraced, not negotiated, as we go into another upfront season. And um, I'd love to see all the partners invest in this. You know, back to the subject at hand, you know, we all know linear television is under duress, you know, and it's been, and it will continue to be. But we also know that as things are moving, it's still a huge amount of impressions that are out there that just can't be ignored. Um, on addressability is there for this, this reason. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about how you see, you know, your, where your linear viewership is going, be it on you know qualm linear or on you know your you know linear on uh, on apps and you know uh, where where do you think that's headed and this technology certainly will work for that. Yeah, I mean we're we're seeing viewership grow across all the platforms that we're currently live with, and we're seeing viewership grow to platforms that we're looking forward to testing with, right? Um, I think overall the the game changer is bringing education to the market as well as our teams to help our clients understand how to take advantage of the viewers that they're used to engaging with on these new platforms. Look, I, I feel like we're on a, on a roll. Uh, I think uh, the ad business is uh, changing you know, daily, but I think it's for the better. I think, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be bumpy, and it has been bumpy, but I think in the end of the day, we're all gonna have a, a really bright future, and I think technology is gonna drive that. I really thank, uh, again, Free Will for giving us the platform to come up here and to talk about that, so thank you, Marcia. <laughs>